Okay, so I want to talk to you today about crate training. So Geely is seven and a half, and he was never officially, um, well, he's crate trained, but he doesn't love staying in his crate. So I have here some itty bitty little pieces of cheese. Um, you just need a, like a size of a pea. And so right now I'm trying to entice him to just to get into his crate and to lay down. Okay, Geely, can you get in? Box. So his his word is box for his crate. Good boy. <clears throat> so I've been um, working on just everything that good ever happens to him happens in his crate. So um, when he was a puppy, I had this divider. And so I, he just, you know, initially started in this very crate. Um, but he does not like ever having the, the gate closed. So we just work on every day, um, having him just sit here with the door open and we give him all of his food in his crate. So everything good happens here. Good boy, Geely. Um, but we just spend, a you know, several minutes every single day working on his um, ability just to stay and wait and be calm and have a good time in his crate. And so um, I have been working on just shutting the door. And so I let it come closer and see if there's no response. Then I go ahead and give him a little crate. And then I've, I've worked on um, even shutting it and walking around, just doing the flitting. Um, good boy. The flitting game where I shut it and then I just scoot backwards and forwards. Um, okay, let's we'll see if we can get a little bit. So I all I'm doing is I'm watching his eyes and his face as I get it closer because he really does not like to have it closed and so I'm just trying to make it so it's like not a big deal but as soon as he gives me any sign that he's not liking it then good boy Geely then we stop and we go back but I just go really slow with this um because again this is something that he never really got you were a good boy yes you are as a baby, but I believe that all dogs, um, regardless of age, they can all be with enough time, patience. I mean, we, so we reintroduced the crate again um, about a month ago. And so we've just been slowly, slowly working on getting it closed. It's okay, bud. So I'm not even gonna hook it, but you can see how it's, he's, he's still just fine. With it here, good boy. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and give it a little hook up. So the first time that we were doing this, he would already be um, pushing on it and almost starting to cry. So we're just having him just easy, easy into being in the crate. Good boy, that's a good boy. But you can see even with the look on his eyes, He's just fine with this. So now I'm just gonna move myself a little bit further back from him, but I want you to watch and see how he looks. So the moment that he starts to feel any discomfort, then I would reopen, good job. I would reopen that crate. And we, I think we've had enough time of him just having such a good experience in here that he's doing much better. So I'm just going backwards and forwards in the room, um, just watching how he's behaving um, with knowing that there's a crate. So I'm just gonna come backwards again. Good boy, now I'm further away. Good boy, Jeannie. Good job. Good job. So, but the moment there would be any discomfort, and as a baby, um, he would be whining or crying. Um, and so this is just, he knows that there's gonna be a good reward here. So he's definitely being easier. And so I'm gonna go backwards again. 
So one thing that he definitely does not like is when I am out of sight when he's in here. So I'm just trying to make it so he's, you know, looking around, he knows that I'm here and it's been about five minutes. So this is a great training session. So I would recommend everybody when you're crate training your dog, just go really slow, have lots of patience and spend the time that it takes for them to be comfortable. Nobody wants to be enclosed in a cage. I would not like that. They do not like that. And so for them to be comfortable in it and just calm is what you're looking for. Um, now, Geely, anytime that I have left the room, he automatically will stand back up and then he becomes very uncomfortable. And so then that's when it's really important to go ahead. And you can see now how he's starting to breathe more rapidly. Like you can tell he's not enjoying it as much as he was. Um, so we're just gonna treat again. Yeah, you're okay, buddy. You're okay. The moment that he would give me a push on this with his nose, this is something we've been working on for a very long time. But the moment he would, you know, paw the opening or push with his nose or start crying, like it looks like he's getting ready to start crying. Good boy, buddy. You're doing, you're being so brave. Yes, you're doing so good. Then I would definitely make sure just to open it back up. So I'm just pushing the limits here of his comfort level. Um, but as soon as he would give me the sign that he's had enough, I would open it up for him. So I'm just waiting and waiting until he's ready. Good boy. Good boy, Geely. Yes, good job. So I just give him these itty bitty little pea size cheese and he's very motivated by food. So this is good. But if you watch their breathing and you watch their eyes, you see how he's still giving me really big eyes. Like you're not going to leave me in here. I'm not going to leave you. But it's just important just to practice um, being able to have this be a safe and secure and lovely place for them. Um, so they feel like they can come and it's, it's always going to be okay. Good boy. It's okay. Yeah you're all right but you definitely when you're working on um something that's really hard make sure that your your reward for them is correct so you know this would definitely be something like i couldn't just give him his kibble so a lot of times if we're training on you know something that's easy something he already knows i give a lower reward treat um dogs definitely have just like people um, you know what's ice cream and you know what's just, you know, meat. It's like there's something that's rich and sweet and there's something that's just your normal every day. Um, so good boy, good boy. So you want to make sure that the reward is um, appropriate for, for what's going on. So I am going to try to prop him up here so you can watch him while I make myself a little bit further away. So um, I'm just gonna move myself so it's a little through I'm a little further away and just for a second good boy GD good boy he can't see me now. Good job good boy oh good job good boy so the whole time I'm making sure that he's okay and now I'm gonna go around the corner so you really can't see me. And we'll just see how, usually he'll start to sit up and good boy, G, good boy. So we're practicing just at home here. We're just at home. Good boy. And this is what I call the flitting game. So I'm just starting to walk around, just pushing his comfort level, just walking around my house as he's sitting there waiting for me to come back. 
Good boy, Jimmy. Good boy. Good job, buddy. So this is actually the longest he's had the store shut on him. And so we're just pushing the limits. And again, he's seven and a half and we're still, you know, this is something we've still been working on. Good boy, buddy. Good boy, that was excellent. Good job. Good job, buddy. Good boy, good boy. Good job. So at this point, if he had been up or trying to push, I would have opened that crate and just allowed him out. But he's still doing great, so I'm going to keep playing the game until he's done. So. Good job, buddy. Good job. Yes, you're doing great. You're doing great. So strong, buddy. Good job. Good boy.
you can see now he's starting to have discomfort. So he's starting to kind of move. So we're just gonna go ahead and open it up, but we're gonna keep him in there if he'll stay. Good job, buddy. Good job. But the important thing is for him to know that all good things happen in the crate. So the best rewards are gonna happen here. So you see, I even opened the door and he's, you know, you saw initially he was like trying to kind of sit up and I was definitely watching his respirations there. I was making sure that if he was discomforted at all, that there was definitely a reward. And you can see, so the yawn is still release of stress. Okay, all done. Yes, good boy. Good boy. And that's typical for him is like that's our little training session so we're gonna be all done good boy but he does not get a reward besides a pet and infection if he's out of the crate right so this is a reward because he's getting petted because that was a good boy but there's no more treating so there's only the treat if he's in the box Hopefully that is helpful for everybody to see kind of how long and slow the progression is. Um, it has definitely taken us a long time. You can see as yawning, he's still getting over the stress of being in there because it is very stressful for him. But that was fantastic. Good boy. Good boy.